Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are well. Spring is here, bringing with it a brand new festival place and this week's awesome challenges, the car of tomorrow, which we will be completing today. It's all important 200 awesome points and the much needed 15% towards our festival playlist. Now we are trying to reach 15,000 subscribers by the end of March. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Let's go complete this week's Forza Song challenges. Now, it wouldn't be a weekly Forza Thon video if I didn't ask if you had Lake Lodge. So do you own Lake Lodge? If not, why not? It would double all Forza Thon points for all Forza Thon activities. Daily Forza Thon challenges, weekly Forza Thon challenges, and Forza Thon lives every hour on the hour. Now, this house can be quite expensive at 5 million credits, or it's free if you have the VIP pass. Now, this week's Forza Thon challenges, the car of tomorrow, has us using modern supercars, one of the best car disciplines in Forza Horizon 4. We can use anything from Audis to Ferraris to Fords, from Lamborghinis to Lexus, McLaren to Porsche. We can even jump in the Quadra from Cyberpunk. Now I'm gonna be using something a little bit different. I'm gonna be jumping in the 2012 Ascari KZ1R, running 1,191 horsepower, four wheel drive, and can be picked up in the auto show for 240 thousand credits if you'd like to use my tune just search my gamertag skippy4631 or the file name skippy youtube now this week's brand new car to forza horizon 4 the shelby mustang 1000 and can be unlocked and added to your garage by completing a seasonal championship shelby coming round the mountain i'll be unlocking that live here on youtube in the next couple of days we'll also be checking out the horizon backstage vote this week's forza Thon shop and the Super 7 reward at the end of the video. But first, let's complete this week's Forzathon challenges, The Car of Tomorrow. Chapter 1, Insatiable Desire. Own and drive any modern supercar. This has to be one of the best weekly Forzathon challenges. We are in modern supercars. Own and drive then, hop outside at your festival, house or castle, drive two seconds down the road, and Insatiable Desire completed. With chapter one, Insatiable Desire completed, only in driving any modern supercar, it's on to chapter two, have your cake and eat it. A car like this is just begging to be driven. Get out there and win three street scene events in your modern supercar. Now for this chapter, head on into your map and then filter by the street scene series, making that a little bit easier to see and find. Now you can do any three races, from the Street Scene series, you can do the same race over and over, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head on over to the Ambleside Ascent, one of the shortest races in the Street Scene series at just 3.6 miles in length. Now, unfortunately, no blueprint race this week as we can't make blueprints for the Street Scene series. So just enter in solo and make sure you are in a modern supercar. Now, races for the weekly Force on Challenges are not affected by driver tar difficulty. As we do need to win these races, there's no reason to make it any harder than it needs to be. I'm going new racer. Here we go then, race number one in the Ascari. Now we do need to win all three races and it looks like the Ascari is gonna have no problem doing that as we are out in the lead before the first corner. Coming up to the finish line for race number one, across the line, race completed. As we reach the halfway point of race two, I want to give a massive shout out to all the channel members. Steven, Strife, Kevin, Zeta, Justin, David, Dragon, Carlton, Assumed, Easy, Owen and James. Thank you all so much for going that extra mile to support the channel. And across the line, second race, first place. And across the line, our third and final race, first place. And there we go, have your cake and eat it, completed. So with chapter two, have your cake and eat it completed, winning three street scene events. It's on to chapter three, life in the fast lane. Drop it like it's hot and rack up a total of 15 stars from speed zones with your modern supercar. For this chapter, once again, head on into your map, but this time filter by speed zones, making that a bit easier to see and find. Now you can do any speed zone you like, there are plenty to choose from. I'm heading just north of Slate Quarry to Forest Green, where we have a 90 miles an hour three star target. Here we go then in the Ascari, 15 stars from speed zones. I've taken a fairly decent run up, so the higher the entry speed, the better. Now if we get three stars on all our runs, we just need to do five runs 
through this camera. There should be no problem for the Ascari as we are hitting 150-ish. That's through the camera, 148 miles an hour. That's three stars. There's four more runs to go. So we're going to get down here. We're going to apply the brakes. We're going to flick the Ascari around. Back on the power and head in for our second run. Once again, nice high entry speed. A bit of a corner on the old forest green. Nothing too major. The Ascari can't handle. Accelerate up the hill towards the end camera. And that's our second run at 153.58. Three more stars. Three more runs to go. Coming up to the end of our fifth and final run through the camera at 145. That's three stars and our final run. And life in the fast lane completed. So with chapter three, life in the fast lane completed, earning 15 stars in total from speed zones. It's on to our fourth and final chapter this week, expensive taste. Scream down the highway and earn 20 awesome speed skills with your modern supercar. Now this chapter can be completed absolutely anywhere on the freeway map. It can even be completed during races. But just as this chapter suggests, the best place to get this done is the motorway. And for this chapter, I'm going to cruise up and down the motorway. To earn an awesome speed skill, you need to be doing 180 miles an hour or more. I hovered between 180 and 200 just to make sure I was getting awesome speed skills. But don't worry if you do get the odd ultimate speed skill, absolutely Fine, now I'm going to cruise up and down until I earn 20 awesome speed skills. And after just one pass of the motorway cruising at 190 miles an hour, I earn my 20 awesome speed skills to complete Chapter 4, Expensive Taste, and this week's Forthathon Challenges, The Car of Tomorrow. Let's go ahead and take a look at this week's Forthathon Shop. And here it is, this week's Forzathon Shop, the first car for grabs, the 2006 Koenigsegg CCX 600 Forzathon points. Second car for grabs, the 1993 Toyota number no. 1 T100 Baja truck, 350 Forzathon points. It's all about boots this week for the clothing, we've got the red biker boots and the pink biker boots, 75 Forzathon points for each of those. And if you've got any spare Forzathon points knocking around and you're feeling lucky, grab yourself a normal wheel spin for 40 Forzathon points. Or nab yourself a super duper wheel spin for 150 Forzathon points. Now, is it worth spending hard earned Forzathon points on either of these cars? Let's talk about the Toyota Baja truck first. 350 Forzathon points. My suggestion would be is to save them. Do not spend them on this truck. You can pick up the Toyota in the auto show for 500,000 credits, or it does come with the welcome pack car pack. Now the Koenigsegg CCX I think is well worth 600 Forzathon points. It's not available in the auto show. It is currently flooded in the auction house, but that's normal when any car becomes available in the Forzathon shop. But 600 Forzathon points for this car is not bad. Like I say, the auction house, they're going for around 100,000 credits or less. So it's whether you want to spend Forzathon points or you want to spend credits. But at the end of the day, it's a Koenigsegg CCX. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this week's Horizon Backstage. Horizon Backstage is one of Horizon 4's newest feature. It's just a short drive from the festival site. It can be accessed from free roam or you can hop into your pause menu, slide on over to the cars tab and access Horizon Backstage from there. Last week's Horizon Backstage vote had the Maserati MC12 Corsa go up against the Cadillac Escalade and thankfully I can say the Maserati MC12 came out on top and is now available for purchase in Horizon Backstage. This week's Horizon Backstage vote, I think, is going to be an absolute landslide. We've got the KTM Expo GT4 up against the Hoonigan Ford RS200. Like I say, I think it's a no-brainer. However good that KTM Expo GT4 is, we need to be voting for that Hoonigan RS200. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this week's Super 7 reward. Now Horizon Super 7 is Horizon 4's newest feature. After completing all seven Super 7 challenge cars, you get a reward. This week, it's the 2004 Subaru WRX. There we go, that's this week's Forza on Shop, the Horizon Backstage Vote, the Super 7 reward, and this week's Forza on Challenges, the Car of Tomorrow completed. For those all-important 200 Forza on Points towards that Koenigsegg CCX, and 15% towards our spring season. If you have any questions about this week's Forzathon Challenges, the car of tomorrow, do hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. If you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. We will be completing the rest of the festival players here live on the channel in the next couple of days. We're also trying to hit 15,000 subscribers by the end of March. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe 
and have an awesome day.